Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with another video and this one is going to be another faith-based video. How many times have we felt like in our own human emotion that God is taking way too long to answer our prayers? Uh, we go back and forth in our mind what we want to happen. Um, we've been praying and praying and praying and even sometimes fasting for certain things to happen. And we feel like, oh my gosh, God, when is it going to happen for me? So we want to explore the things you should do when you have that mind set and when you have that um, desire to want to know, God, why are you taking so long to answer my prayers? So it's really important to understand and acknowledge your emotions, right? So God knows he made us. He understands that we have very human emotions and sometimes we can be impatient, especially my generation and Generation Z. As a millennial, as a as Generation Z, um, we are coined the popcorn uh, generation where we want things to kind of happen quickly and it shouldn't take any longer than it would take for popcorn to um, happen in the microwave. And so... It's important that we acknowledge those emotions and we can navigate those. And then it's just important to remember that we are emotional beings. God created us this way and he understands our thoughts and emotions before we even know them. You know what I'm saying? The second thing you should do is to seek God's guidance. Um, it's okay to ask God questions. Ask him why you have me waiting for this particular prayer that I've been praying for. Um, seek his voice by staying in prayer and in his word. That might mean putting your phone on do not disturb so you're not distracted by TikTok and Instagram and Facebook or whatever. Um, also, just kind of disconnecting from, you know, any other distractions whether it be Netflix, whatever your distractions are, disconnect from those so that you can actually hear the voice of God. So that might, just, like I said, being in prayer, being in meditation, bringing in his word so that he can reveal some things to you and make it clear as to why he has you waiting during this waiting season. And so in Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, God says um, his ways are higher than our ways. And so he might just have a different plan for you and you don't even realize what God is already working on. It's super important to kind of um, even research different scriptures that give you comfort during this time of waiting because it can be a, a rough time to wait, especially when you're my generation or younger. You just feel like we want things now. We don't know when. Um, the hour is going to be the old saints always say. You never know the day and the hour. Well, I've been praying on this certain thing and I kind of want this to happen before God cracks the sky. You know what I'm saying? That is my own selfish, you know, mentality sometimes and I'm like you know what I want to experience getting married I want to experience you know owning my own business and I want to experience opening that nonprofit business that I want to open um and those are just my personal things some of the things that I've been praying for and God is having me wait because who knows the reason and so at the end of the day these I'm taking my own advice when it comes to this as well the third thing you should do is to look for lessons in this time of waiting. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. But yes, look for the lessons in your time of waiting. Um, it's important to know that God doesn't ignore our prayers as a way of getting back at us for sins that we've committed before. God doesn't work that way. Um, but he does know when our hearts are not in the right place. And so this waiting season, this time that you feel like God is taking too long to answer your prayer, this might be the time that you need to examine your heart, examine yourself and realize um, and to kind of just check and see, is my heart in the right place um, when I'm actually asking for this particular prayer. So I'll give you an example. I lost uh, one of my previous students um, back in early June of this year, and it broke me. It really, it really, really did. I take it to heart because I have such a passion for my students. I love them deep, like deep, deep. And so when one of them um, leaves this earth and I just feel it was just way too soon, it, it really it really grinds me up and it's, it makes it I go through all of the emotions of grief it really does um and right now when I was I I was praying for 
um, his killer to be found and, you know, just, uh, I just, I was praying with the wrong intentions. I'll just say that because I was praying from a place of anger. And so, um, I won't go into detail of what I actually prayed, but I could tell I had to get myself together right after saying it because it was just like, you know what? That isn't going to solve anything. And you have to check your heart because God's ways, once again, are above ours and are higher than our ways. And so he had a plan for that young man. And um, he touched my life. He touched so many other people's lives. And so I just hope that that situation can be resolved. And one thing was sometimes when you don't know what to pray, you don't know how to check your own feelings sometimes, um, just say... Lord, let your will be done, whatever it is, let your will be done. And so I had to go back and pray, um, Lord, let your will be done in this situation. Yes, we want justice. Yes, uh, we're upset, we're hurt, we're broken, we're pissed, you know, um, that this has ha happened. Um, just another young life taken by gun violence. And it was just so hurtful for me to, to deal with. But like I said, I had to check my heart because... God doesn't like that. He wants us to come from with pure intentions when we're coming to him in prayer. The fourth thing you should do is to find support in community. Um, when dealing with your emotions of God not answering your prayers in your timing, it's important to lean on people who are like-minded, who can encourage you and uplift you and support you during this time that you're just so uncertain about what God has going on for you. It's also good to connect with people who have been, been through the same thing you've been through. So like me, I lost my father. It's good to talk to people sometimes who have lost their who have lost a parent because that is a, a a really hurtful thing to go through but it is good to connect with people who have gone through the same similar struggles that you have um gone through and who have had their prayers answered um and so it's always good to hear other people's testimonies to be encouraged by those types of things as well next you shall always be open to alternative answers Sometimes we will have these plans in our mind of what we want and we're praying for it consistently or whatever. And God has something he's working out behind the scenes. What if God is answering your prayers, but just in an unexpected different way? You never know. Just because God isn't answering your prayers when you feel he should answer them doesn't mean He's uh, you shouldn't be open to alternative answers. Be open to unexpected opportunities. Next, uh, use this time to practice patience and perseverance. Sometimes God will make us wait so that we can strengthen that virtue of patience. I, for, for sure, need to uh, practice patience. And that comes with anything. Like when, when I'm driving, I need to practice patience. I need to practice patience with my child. I have a toddler. And as you know, if you've ever raised a child or is currently raising a child, you know that that toddler stage can be very challenging sometimes. Just parenthood period can be challenging and you have to practice patience. And so I know that I will need patience all through her life. Um, whether I have another child or not, I will need patience with that child. And so at the end of the day, sometimes God is teaching you more than one lesson when he's making you wait um, for your prayers to be answered. Embrace the waiting season as a time to strengthen your character and grow in faith. Um, even though you can't see it now, doesn't mean he won't come through for you and that God isn't faithful. God is always faithful. He will answer it in his timing and his timing is the best. During the waiting season is when I've come to know that our praise is so important because we can give that yet praise. I don't have it yet but I trust God. I believe God. I know that he has the best intentions for me and he has plans for me to prosper. He has plans for me to uh, be a blessing to other people. And so at the end of the day, I know that during this waiting season, even though it's rough for me, even though it's stretching me in ways that I didn't think that I uh, could be stretched, 
is still, God still deserves all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration that he deserves because of just who he is. Whether he answers my prayers or not, if he never does another thing for me ever again, he's done enough. And that's the kind of mindset that we have to have. Last but not least, we have to focus on gratitude. When we're interceding, when we're praying for something, God is making a, and God is making us wait, it's easy for us to focus on the things that we're lacking. So if we're praying for financial increase or we're pay, uh, praying for our um, family members to be saved or, you know, whatever we're praying for, we could always, we always tend to focus on the things that we're lacking. But sometimes you and if you have to see it in person like you have to write it out and put it on your wall whatever list out the things that you are grateful for grateful for breath in your body grateful to be able to uh dress yourself <laughs> it's just stuff little things that we take for granted every single day um think about all of these other countries that are dealing with bombings and genocides and just crazy stuff like that that we would just I would just go crazy if I seen in person you know what I mean and so I'm just grateful I always come um to prayer with a sense of gratitude and so during this waiting time we have to start to think about and sometimes God is almost forcing us to realize how blessed we already are a prayer journal is super important to have. Um, if you're not a writer, then you definitely can do like voice messages on your phone, voice notes and things like that. I've done that before, especially when I need to vent and I'm really upset. Like I will go into my phone and just say whatever I need to say and just to get it out because it's not good to suppress those emotions. But um I think a prayer journal is so amazing because you can look back on it and look at all of the different prayers that God has already answered for you. For example, I was praying for um, a way to get out of the last place that I lived. Y'all know that it was horrible. I had a whole raccoon living in my in my um, attic area. They wasn't doing nothing about it. I'm like, Lord, please allow me to be able to own my own property, own my own home so that I don't have to deal with this any longer. And I can create generational wealth for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? And so he opened the door for that to happen. Did it happen in my timing? Absolutely not. But it happened in his. And I'm so grateful because I was prepared and I was ready. My heart was ready. My mind was ready. I was ready to do this. So yes, definitely invest in a prayer journal. It doesn't have to be nothing. It could just be a regular notepad just like this and just write down the prayers that you are um, asking God for. And you'll go back and look and be like, oh my gosh, that one was answered. That one was answered. That one was answered. But it might not be in your timing, but God will always, always, always come through. God hears you, he understands, and he's working on your behalf and guiding your footsteps to where you need to be. So don't get so frustrated during this waiting season. Don't give up on God during this waiting season because at the end of the day, his ways are higher than our ways. I can't say it enough. And he knows exactly where we're supposed to be, when we're supposed to be there, and how we're supposed to get it done. And so at the end of the day, be still and know that he is God and he will always come through for you. I hope this was encouraging to you. And I hope that the next time you get into a place of waiting for God and wanting to question God as to why he has you waiting for a particular uh, prayer to be answered, you can remember these things and reflect back on this video. I hope you guys are encouraged and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay pretty, stay hustling, and stay blessed. I will see y'all later. Bye.